Here's the field now for race number 11. Tonight's 11th race, Phillies and Mares racing one mile per $1,700. The eight horse has been scratched. Post time in nine minutes, the one sassy pants on the Springhaven Farms of Utica, Ohio. Delvin Criswell trains Dan Ader drives. Number two, Noble DJ. Number Richard Jennings, Ken and Gary Alexander of Franklin. Gary Alexander trains with Mike Wilder. Three, Little Lobe, home by Steve Panagiopoulos of Columbus. Chuck Grubbs trains for Dave Hawk. Four is Terry Z. That was then trained by Jay Andy of Norwich with Don Irvine, Jr. Five, Justin Lynn, owned by Stanley Hill of Hagersville, Ontario. Mr. Hill also trains and drives. Number six, Creole, owned by Doug Ream of Columbus. And Trafford Ream of Mount Sterling. Kevin Erhard is the trainer with Ryan Holton. Number seven, Linda Lonell, owned by Charles Blankenship. Leonard Applin trains with Randy Tharps. Eight horses scratched. And number nine, Believability, owned by Paul Simpson of Lebanon. Virgil Morgan Jr. trains. Brent Holland is in the sulky. One play show perfecta. Superfecta wagering. Eight minutes until post time. Eight minutes. Now we take you back up to Northfield's 12th. 12th race. Phillies and Mares all on behind the gate. On the back stretch. There they go. They're off and pacing as Sassy Pants first off the rail for the lead, but from between horses, it's Little Loeb and Terry Z from the outside. Backing up and dropping in quickly fourth is Noble DJ from the outside and racing fifth, Believability. At the rail and racing is sixth, it's Justin Lynn. Early seventh, Creole and Linnell is the trailer, but off stride goes Believability, the nine Believability on a break. They reach the first quarter mile marker, 27-3. A brisk opening panel here as Sassy Pants calls the shots early. She leads a length and a half. Little low by the inside is racing second. Terry Z is gapping slightly third. Then comes Noble DJ and Justin Lynn moving first up on the outside fifth. Laundermill in sixth. It's Linda Linnell to the outside. A gapping covers seventh. Creole believability is far back. Completely out of it here. Racing eighth. They're approaching the half. And it's Sassy Pants with the lead. They're at the half, 58 seconds. At the rail, Little Loeb is now locked in a second. Justin Lynn coming up on the outside. She's now moving slowly. She's third. Inside and fourth to Terry Z, second over fifth. It's Creole as they fire down the back stretch. And Sassy Pants leading up by three parts of a length. But there on the outside is the longest shot at 22 to 1. Justin Lynn is looking the leader in the eye and matching strides with her. At the rail, Little Loeb is locked in tight. Three quarters, 127 and 4. Around the final turn, Sassy Pants clings the lead and is fighting off Justin Lynn, who won't go away. At the rail, Little Loeb is beginning to look for racing room and Creole into position. Far outside comes Linda Lonell. Last Saturday, eighth of a mile ago. And down the stretch they come, and it's the longest shot. It's Justin Lynn who's taken the lead. On the inside, Little Loeb has found racing room, and it's just in time. Little Loeb up to win it. Justin Lynn second, very tight for third. Here's the unofficial winner, number three, Little Loeb, a seven-year-old Ohio bred daughter of Pickwick Baron for the contract mare, Earrings, owned by Steve Pinagiopolo of Columbus. Chuck Grubbs, the trainer, Dave Hawk in the sulky. Fourth one of the season for the seven-year-old pacing mare, her second consecutive here at the Cider Downs, 157 and four. And for the Hawkster, it's his second win tonight, giving him a driving double.